what every high school student should know about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying. The generation that gets it has the power to challenge it. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is when a child, preteen or teen, is tormented, threatened, harassed, humiliated, embarrassed, or otherwise targeted by another child, preteen or teen, using the internet, interactive and digital technologies, or mobile phones. Are you a cyberbully? Do these descriptions match you or someone you know? Inadvertent. Assumed online character. May not realize it's cyberbullying. Most common. Vengeful angel, righting wrongs, protecting themselves. Power hungry, want reaction, controlling with fear. Revenge of the nerds, often victims of schoolyard bullies, throw cyberweight around. Not schoolyard bullies like power hungry and mean girls. Mean girls, bored, entertainment. Ego based, promote social status, often done in a group. Intimidate on and offline. Need others to bully and will stop if isolated. I am a teenager. I am online. I enjoy sharing thoughts. Music. Videos. Ideas. Information. I will not. I will not. I will not be a victim to threats. To stalking. To soliciting. To predators. I will be responsible. I will be careful. I will be honest. I will be smarter. I will get my parents involved. I will protect myself. I will be safe. I am a teenager. And I. And I. Will not. Be bullied. Types of cyberbullying. Harassment. Repeatedly sending offensive, rude, and insulting messages. Trolling. Posting inflammatory or off-topic messages with the primary intent of provoking readers' emotions. Exclusion. Intentionally excluding someone from an online group or event page. Impersonation. Pretending to be someone else and sending or posting material online that causes that person harm. Outing and trickery. Sharing someone's secret or embarrassing information online. Denigration. Sending or posting cruel gossip or rumors to damage a person's reputation or friendships. Flaming. Online fights using electronic messages with angry and vulgar language. Cyber stalking. Repeatedly sending messages that make a person afraid for his or her own safety. Happy slapping. Recording someone being harassed or bullied, then posting the video online for public viewing. Your own cyber bully behavior. Have you or someone you know ever participated in any of the types of bullying? Why? Who did it harm? How is it different than saying the same things in person? Are there degrees of cyberbullying? What's the difference between joking around online and cyberbullying? What are possible consequences? What other consequences could there be? It starts with one person. One word. One post. This is the reality of cyberbullying. It's not physical, it's personal. It's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. A cyberbully isn't just one person, it's hundreds. A bystander becomes more than just a witness, they become the bully. This fatal cycle can only be put to rest one step at a time. And it all starts with you. It can end with one person, one post. Be more than a bystander. And speak up for the victims of cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is never okay. All actions have consequences. Cyberbullying hurts. Bystanders are just being used and manipulated by cyberbullies. Cyberbullies and accomplices often become the target of cyberbullying themselves. Cyberbullying and school policy. Can students really get in trouble for cyberbullying outside of school? Yes. 
Whether or not the cyberbullying takes place in or out of school, it affects the school climate. School officials will investigate any concerns and punish any offenders. If a student is found to have engaged in cyberbullying, disciplinary actions will be taken, including possible student suspension. CCS Reporting Process for Bullying If you or a student you know is the victim of bullying, including cyberbullying, you can report it to a teacher, counselor, principal, or other person of authority. You can also go to the CCS District's website for more information about reporting bullying. When you make the report, you can choose to remain unidentified. School staff will investigate and provide support. Criminal Law Limits The following kinds of speech can lead to arrest and prosecution. Making threats of violence, engaging in coercion, harassment or stalking, sexual exploitation, hate or bias crimes, creating or sending sexually explicit images of teens, taking a photo of someone in place where privacy is expected. Did you see what someone wrote on her wall last night? No. Oh, wow, it's gone viral. Yeah, did you hear about that new website, hatersofjenna.com? <laughs> Attention students, this is Principal Rivard. I regret to inform you that the family of Jenna Long has told us that last night Jenna committed suicide. We would like everyone to take a moment of silence to remember Jenna. We will miss her. Anyone who needs counseling, please come to the office. And you should know, the school is cooperating with the family and authorities in determining what may have led to this tragedy. Okay. Brittany, Shana, Tanya. Come with us, ladies, please. Now, ladies. talk about it if you're bullying someone stop it now if you're being bullied reach out to an adult that you know and trust there's a lot of ways to get the help and support that you need thank you Have you ever been cyberbullied? 43% of teens aged 13 to 17 report that they have experienced some sort of cyberbullying in the past year. Cyberbullying typically starts at about 9 years of age. After 14, it often becomes cyber sexual harassment due to nature of acts and age of actors. Teen cyberbullying statistics. More girls are cyberbullies than boys. 59% girls and 41% boys. Cyberbullies spend more time online overall and are more likely to engage in sexting. 66% of teens who have witnessed online cruelty have also witnessed others joining in. 21% say they have also joined in the harassment. 84% have seen the people tell cyberbullies to stop bullying. 20% report seeing this frequently. 95% who have witnessed cruel behavior or social networking sites say they have seen others ignoring the mean behavior. How do you protect yourself and others? Protect your privacy. Don't share your passwords. Don't post personal information or photos that you wouldn't share with strangers. Don't say anything online that you wouldn't say in person. Stand up to cyber bullies. Don't spread mean messages and let your friends know that it is wrong. What should you do if you are being cyberbullied? Stop. Leave the page, game, phone, message, etc. where the cyberbullying is happening. Record slash report. Save the harassing messages, sometimes with a screenshot, so you have evidence later. Report it to the website and or your internet service provider. 
Block. Block the messages from the cyberbully. Never respond. Never forward. Talk. Tell a trusted adult. Alert the police if the cyberbullying involves physical threats. Remember, be responsible for what you do online. And don't be a bystander. Speak up. If your friends are cyberbullying someone, don't participate and tell them to stop. CCS students, learn and live in peace.